What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of a Tech once again, and today I have yet another how-to video. So, you got yourself a Ryzen 5000 CPU. You got yourself a 6000 series GPU. Who has those? I do. So, for the future, if you guys are trying to get more gaming performance, let's show you guys how to enable smart access memory. Now, smart access memory boasts that it essentially will improve a CPU performance when playing video games with a 6000 series GPU, which in turn will improve your frame rates. Most notable at lower resolutions, such as 1080p. So if you're looking at 1080p competitive gaming, you may want to take a look at this setup. I will leave links to the required parts down in the description below so be sure to check that out. If you already have them, let's get into it. First of all, this is gonna be for the 500 series motherboard. So we're talking about B550 or X570. And then to get it enabled, you're gonna to want to reboot your system and get into the BIOS. Most of the time it's F2 or the delete key to enter the BIOS. Alrighty, so once in, there are gonna be three settings you need to check. First of all, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that CSM is disabled, which is the compatibility support module. This is gonna be for legacy. Now, keep in mind, depending on your operating system and the operating system version and which motherboard you have, changing CSM may make your system non-bootable. That's okay because smart access memory is only functioning currently on Windows 10, so also keep that in mind. If you come in here, you're gonna to go to CSM and go from enable to disable. This example is on an ASRock motherboard. If you need assistance with other motherboards, you can hit us up in Discord with the links to Discord down in the description below. Once disabled, it will unlock the PCI configurations that you need to change. So you're gonna to go to the advanced tab and then PCI configuration. Then for above 4G decoding, you're gonna enable it. This is gonna look very familiar for miners. And then on the resize bar support, you're going to enable that as well. You're then gonna go back to the boot, or back to exit, excuse me, and click save changes and exit. So it's pretty simple if you know the steps to get them enabled. The AMD website, as well as a lot of the articles, haven't talked about CSM, so if you don't see the resize, bar or the above 4G decoding options, you need to keep in mind that it probably means that CSM is on, so you're gonna to need to go and disable that. And then secondary to that, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you can actually boot back into your operating system with CSM disabled. If you can't, you wanna go back into the BIOS. Don't freak out, your data is still there. We didn't delete anything off your hard drives. And just re-enable CSM, and unfortunately you won't have access to smart access memory. Another disappointing part uh, on this whole thing is that in within Ryzen Master, as well as within you know your Radeon software, there's nothing that shows you that it's activated. So the only way you're really gonna be able to tell is with performance improvements. And the performance improvements really, like I said, seem to only affect lower resolutions. We saw some really big gains at 1080p, especially DirectX 11. 1080p, so Firestrike Benchmark, for example, the RX 6800 paired with a 5000 series CPU actually beats out the RTX 3080, which is pretty impressive. You definitely notice it in games like uh, Call of Duty Warzone at 1080p, Rainbow Six Siege, and of course CSGO, but at this point you don't really need it to run CSGO. Fortnite is another one. Uh, that you'll see some good improvements in. And then finally, of course, Rocket League. So hope this video was helpful. If you found it helpful, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you next Tuesday.